okay is formulating a look. She called me into the room. She says, come check this out. I want to see what she looks like. I have not seen her yet. This is the first time I'm going to see Kay. Oh, sh Wow. Damn. This is a really good look. Oh, look at this. Wow. That is in the flesh. No pun. <laughs> Live and direct. I've not seen this look. Our ideas come together and, and, and this is all her right now. So now my job is to develop and build a set, a backdrop, lighting and everything based on this look right here. Wish me luck. This is going to be fun. All right, guys. So if you know anything about K and I, whenever K and I create, we really never have a specific idea as to what we're going to be creating. In today's video, we're going to be creating a skull look and we're going to be using black lights. And this was all K's idea. She went to the store. She got the black light, got home with it and said, this is what we're going to do. And I'm like, OK. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do in this short video is basically break down the photo so that way you guys can learn exactly what lighting I use, the settings and put it into my camera and how we shot it. So like I said previously, Kate purchased a black light bar and that's what we're gonna be using as a key light in this photo shoot. So in the video right now, what you're looking at is me literally MacGyvering the setup of the black bar. We were kind of in a rush, just, just, just a little bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I MacGyvered the black bar um, the black light bar onto the C stand that you see here on the screen. The settings on my camera for the entirety of the shoot was 1 60th of a second and the aperture was at 2.8 and the ISO was at 1600. The reason for the shutter speed being so low is because I wanted to make sure that the camera can pick up most of the ambient lighting which is only coming from the black light bar. It was one bar. We thought it was going to be sufficient. Apparently it really wasn't. It looks really good to the naked eye but once the camera picked it up it didn't look so good to me in my opinion. So that's why I used the LED RX7 Pilot Cine lights to give K somewhat of a rim lighting with a blue hue blue tint to her shoulders and any other areas especially the back of the cow's head. So most of the blue is coming off of the black light, but at the same time in post, I did pick up the blues a little bit in the hue and saturation bar in Lightroom. So that's pretty much the breakdown of this photo set that we created. Let us know what you think about this photo set in the comments. Give this video a like, subscribe to this channel if you already haven't. If you're new here, welcome. Tap on the bell button so that way you get notified every single time I drop a new video. Can't wait to show you the next set that we have coming up pretty soon. Thanks for watching.